Designing an economy for your DAP. What's the state of Viper integration with Truffle? Drizzle tutorial. This is the newsletter of Eat the Blocks, and I am Julian, your host. The newsletter of Eat the Blocks is a weekly newsletter for Ethereum DAP developer. Make sure you subscribe on the website of Eat the Blocks so you don't miss any episode. Let me know in the comments of this video what do you think about this tutorial. Is it too easy, too simple? Did you get a lot out of it? Next, we have a token standard which is in the last call, so it's uh, the ERC-820. So ERC-820 is about interoperability, oh, what a difficult word to say, interoperability between uh, smart contracts. So it basically enables a smart contract to declare an interface that they implement and other uh, contract can verify that if a certain address actually implement some uh, function. So this is quite an interesting standard and uh, it's currently in the last call status, which means it's been reviewed by the community and it's going to become an, an EIP uh, pretty soon. So I encourage you to become familiar with it and let me know in the comments, how would you use the standard for your own smart contract? Like what kind of new things it would enable? Next, uh, there is another interesting ERC uh, standard, which is uh, 14.17, and it's uh, for doing polls. So with this standard, uh, you can uh, vote, unvote, uh, t tally votes. So uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's potentially it, it can be used by many dApps. It's still at an early phase, so, uh, so probably that the standard will still evolve a lot before it gets uh, adopted, but you can check out the discussion on GitHub. Next, there is an interesting, next there is an interesting article about uh, low-level solidity. So if you want to understand how solidity translates in terms of EVM opcode, then this is a very good article. Next, the founder of Spank Chain, which is a uh, sort of um, webcam uh, service built on Ethereum, um, wrote an article uh, that basically walks us through the code of the Molog DAO. So DAO, it's basically an, uh, an investment fund uh, on, on Ethereum. So this is a, a video on, on YouTube. And uh, it's quite a long video, it's, uh, it's 50 minutes, so it's probably going to be hard to follow this uh, until the end, but you can probably follow like the first like 10 to 20 minutes, I found them pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Next, we have a very interesting tutorial for how to work with uh, Drizzle and, uh, and Svelte. So Drizzle, it's basically the new front-end DAP framework uh, from uh, Truffle. It's pretty new. It really simplified data management in uh, in the front end of a DAP, but uh, I I don't see it uh, as used as as it should be, and because uh, one of the reasons is because there there aren't many tutorials about Drizzle. Uh, it's actually surprisingly simple to use, and this tutorial is gonna um, explain you very simply how how you can build uh, the front end of a DAP with it. It also mentioned using the Redux DevTools, which is uh, famous for developer who use um, React and, and Redux. That's pretty good. Next, uh, we have some news about the state of the Viper integration with Truffle. So Viper is this new uh, smart contract language that is supposed to be more safe than uh, Solidity and then looks like uh, Python. And recently, there's been a, some development on Truffle where we'll be able to use Truffle with other programming language. Uh, I already talked about this in, in a previous newsletter. And uh, and uh, the, the contributors who, uh, who push this PR on the Truffle repo, uh, they're basically ready to, to merge it. So I guess it will be merged uh, pretty soon. And then it will make a Truffle even more useful than what it is now. Then, uh, it's uh, it's my favorite article of this newsletter. It's basically uh, one of the co-founder of the Loom Network, which is a scaling solution for uh, Ethereum. 
he wrote, wrote an article about how to, to build a sustainable game economy for, for your gaming dev. So usually programmers, they tend to uh, not really uh, pay attention to that kind of topic because programmers just want to program. But it's very important to spend some time at the design level of your game because even if your code is really good, but your gameplay uh, is lame, then you, your uh, DAP is never going to work. So here you have basically uh, a, a CEO level kind of person who, who give you uh, insight of how to design a good gameplay for, for your DAP. And these guys at the Loom Network, they know what they're talking about because they created Crypto Zombies, which is basically one of the most uh, successful uh, Ethereum projects. So they know what it takes to make something fun and popular. So if you just have to read one article out of my newsletter, you should absolutely read that one. Uh, then I picked up an old article of uh, consensus that lists 40 dApps that uh, are in production currently on, on Ethereum. So it's good for your general culture of uh, the general na the name of dApp that are, that are famous and can give you some ideas for, for your own dApp. So it's quite an, e an easy read um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And finally, we have the B-Weekly development update of uh, Casper per, uh, plus uh, sharding by Prismatic Labs. So Prismatic Labs is a company that implements the specification of Ethereum 2.0. And every two weeks, they send this development update. Um, so um, I really like their updates because they're able to explain in a simple way uh, what, what they're working on. And Ethereum 2.0 is the, the future of, uh, of, of Ethereum. So the specification is, uh, is mostly done. And there are several entities that are working on implementation. And Prismatic Labs is one of the, 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 the leading company that is working on this. That's it for today. If you guys have any comments regarding the news of this week, like which uh, which article did you prefer, or wh which one you find the, the most useful, do you agree, do you do you disagree? Um, don't hesitate to, to to put this in the comment, and uh, and don't forget to give a like to this video, and you can also subscribe to this channel. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Bye bye.